What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So we have a bit of a challenging one today. We're going to be doing Tanjiro Himokagi Kagura Burning Bow and Summer Sun, right? So this is more or less a full, well, it's like mostly his cape, right? So it's not really full body. So there's not, not too much proportion to worry about. We can see like a little bit of his knee. So I'm on landscape page, definitely pencil and eraser for this. Don't use a Sharpie for this because I'm using like a, a semi-wasted Sharpie, right? So it doesn't put down a lot of ink. A new Sharpie will just like blob all over for you. So I would recommend like pencil and like a finer ink if you want like some, something this small. You know, his head is really small in here. So definitely a pencil anyway. Oh, let's just go for it. Boom, stop talking, stop being nervous, right. I never, I never get not nervous, you know, it's just. So we're gonna start pretty much, I mean, pretty much bang center. He's frowning real heavy, right? So he's got this kind of frowning line in here. Right. So I'll zoom in for you, don't worry. So he's got this kind of frowning line there. And his eyebrow is going to come out from this. So it's going to go up. It's going to go up the diagonal this way. And it's down. And I'm being real delicate here now. So, and I'll just thicken up the eyebrow maybe just a little bit on this side. Okay. Right. Kind of like that. And then, so his eyelash like comes out from here. So his top eyelid curves around and then sort of hooks down here. And we will thicken this up a fair bit. We add a line coming off there. Do an eyelid line just here, right? So we'll Kind of like that, right? And then his eye is sort of in here, right? And, you know, Tanjiro's eyes are kind of, what would you say? Um, they've got angles in them, you know? It's just the, the kind of style of the Demon Slayer anime. So you're not like a circle. It's kind of like a octagon or a pentagon kind of shape. Right, going around like that. So then his iris, just clean this up a little bit. Right, and his iris is like a white diamond in the middle, right? So I'll attempt to do this now. Yeah, <laughs> not bad. Okay. <laughs> and then his bottom eyelid will go around, so real big eyes. So it like comes around here. So we're in three quarter bows, right? So this is the small eye, right? The big eye's over here. So his head is like turned away. His his blade hand is going this way, okay? So then let's just add a big sort of frown line here right, for the other eyebrow. So we're lower down now, we're sort of in line here with the bottom of that eye, okay? And then this'll go, it'll tick off this way. Ah. <laughs> and then this goes down this way. This is kind of fun. It's kind of exciting. Because <laughs> it's so small. Okay. And then... This is taking all of my concentration. So I'm just like thickening up this eyebrow. It's hard to talk when you're doing something that's like using all of your brain. He has a big brain. <sighs> Right, so thickening up that end of his eyebrow. And then frowning sort of line that'll go this way a little bit. And another frown just there somewhere. Okay, so eyelid on this side, right? Underneath the eyebrow. So see how low we're low down now. We're kind of in line with the bottom eyelid here. Right? because his head is, is tilted 
that way. Okay. So goes across this way, and then we go down like so. Right, um, thicken this up a little bit. Bit of me whistling going on here. Line there. One coming off there. Maybe like an eyeway line just here. Right, so our bottom eye, I'll do the bottom eyelid first on this one. So it just so it like comes across underneath here. Move this side. Like so. And then his iris and pupil again looking sort of up. So it comes out from the top eyelid here. And it's got all these angles again on it. So like coming across here. So, and then diamond eyes. So we're gonna try and put it in the middle. Like that. Right. Um, so what we can see in his face, not much, right? We can't see his mouth because it's covered by his um sleeve that's coming across his face. Can see his nose though, right? So we can just see, say like coming out here, curve line there. And then this will go in then, down there. And then on his nose, we've got those hatching lines just on his nose there like that. And if you want, maybe a wrinkle line or two. Some lines, stress lines coming around his eye. We should see a nostril. We'll just add it. I can't see it in the picture, but we should see one. I would imagine here. Okay, not bad. The lines look a little bit wobbly, but that's just because he's so small. It's not bad though, it kind of looks like Tanjiro, doesn't it? Okay, so his sleeve, right, comes across his face. So it's kind of like a bumping sort of line, just comes across here. And we'll add it first just because we can't see his mouth so it kind of comes across this way and then, so three sort of lines coming across here and then it starts to go up here towards his hand right and then it'll go back this way towards his shoulder and we'll stop it there okay so side of his face, right, comes out for his cheek, just here beside the eye, see? And it'll dip in, so it'll go in. So you have his cheek here. And then it comes back out for his forehead, a little bit there. And then the forehead will go around this way. And this will just like kind of curve around in towards his, his hairline, right? That way. On the other side, we can see a little bit of his jaw, just here. And then his ear lobe and ear comes around this way. Ear lobe and ear kind of here. Right. And then more hair, hairline really. So this will have like little spikes. Like this. And then it'll come to a V in the middle of his head, kind of. So like the middle line for his head is like, 
curving around this way because we're in three quarter. So put the big D there. Go back this way. Come around like that, right? And then bones and ligaments on the inside. The easiest way I always say is a letter J. some extra sort of ones inside and he's got his earring sort of coming off his ear here okay so we might as well draw in that earring so it's like flying off back this way have the bottom of it, the land, top, sun, and then some rays. So in the line that'll join it back to the earring just there somewhere. Right. So his hair is like all being blown back. Oh, his scar. And there's like, this. yeah, so we'll do his scar first. Sorry. And then we'll do his hair. And this is such a cool moment in this anime as well. So just the scar on this side of his forehead. Draw it in. It's not drawn with black ink in the anime, which is interesting to, to note. It's just done with color. But I think it's interesting anyway that they're just doing the color, they don't draw it in. And he has like some, some veins coming down. Be super rage mode, stressed out. He has to remember to breathe. And there is some blood coming down from his eye. So like two. Patches of blood here. There's some in his eye as well, but that's just done with color, so we'll just draw these ones in. Here, and then he has that new sort of mark on his face. So there's like a circle. So here, yeah, I'm going down that way. Okay. Right, so we start the hair on this side because it's kind of easier to do. So we go, just curve it out here, go back in, back up, and it all just kind of flies back this way. So we'll just go back like so, bumping first. Again. And then we go up this way. Sure, I'm correct here, and then there, and down to there, right? And then we will go spike here, like this way, spike up, down like so, back out, back in. So it's all just flying back this way because he's launching himself forward. Go that way, out to there. So his face and his like his kimono will probably be the hardest part because there's lots of detail and stuff. And this goes back into there, and we've got another piece of hair. Is that? Yeah, I 
maybe one more just gives you a little bit of it. Like so, and then he has you know all those black lines on his hair, right? So like black shadow and stuff. Right here, so this is black here. And then you just kind of go around these sorts of shapes. to draw these in because it's a real standard part of Tanjiro's hair. And there's one, there's actually a red piece here. So they're, they're all black inside, right? So now, what we gotta do, so we gotta do his sleeve coming across around to his back, right? So, up here, it kinda comes across around his arm, down like so. It's a real big bellowing sleeve, right? And it, it, it's really big, so it comes out, bumps a couple of times here. And then it'll come back underneath this way, right? And his elbow was like, say, here somewhere. So. Let's put it here, right? So this is where we change our direction, right? So here, that's about where his elbow would be, underneath his face. And then this will go. Cross that way, okay, and then we will have a couple of say bumping fold lines here. This goes around his shoulder, so his shoulders in here somewhere. Yeah, maybe here, like a little fold line coming around the shoulder there. This may go. A little bit, and then we have all those green and black boxes as well. So we kind of have to draw them in as well. I know, I know. Why? So his shoulder is in here, and his kimono comes out the back up here as well, right? So like real big. So we go. Right out here. I mean, there's like um, fire and stuff that comes across in underneath here, but this keeps going down. So try and get this so it goes around this way and out. And this will come back in underneath in here, right? So it'll go like around and back in under here. So we go this way. 
and this will go underneath like some of that big fire right so but we'll just draw it in anyway and we can erase what we don't need afterwards so it like comes around this way somewhere Right, like that, so he's, he's like twisting and, and turning and all that kind of stuff, right? And there's like a fold line with some black boxes there. All right, so the black boxes and stuff will show us the direction of things. So we don't really need to draw too much folding lines. So it's more we can see of his knee. All fire here. It's fire, fire. His knee, right? The triangle is knee. So we're going to guess. So we go out this way. And we bring it around. So he's got real baggy clothes as well. So this is like real wide. Between like his kneecap is sort of here somewhere. And then the bottom is down around here. Like so. And then, so it's a real particular shape now because this is what you call foreshortening. Okay. So you just have to draw it as best you can. So these are all like full lines. And then it comes out this way. Comes around like that. It's real baggy. So this is what's like making it a bit more challenging than usual because the clothing is like real flowy. Okay. So that's his knee, right? Can you see his foot? I don't think so. Is that a foot? Very hard to see. I'm going to put a foot here. <laughs> so just go out. In. Down that way. and it's just kind of black so I'm not sure what kind of footwear he wears is it sandals? I don't know maybe it'll be a line just coming around there maybe an edge hmm okay not bad we are getting there guys uh, this has gone much better than I thought um, in my opinion so his sleeve up here I didn't think I'd get a usable video out of it but I might Sleeve there, and then white sleeve comes out there, right? And then the back of his hand comes out this way, comes up, and then it comes over to his thumb, so it's kind of like knuckles and bumps and stuff. And again, this isn't very clear in the picture I'm drawing from, but I'll do my best. Right, the thumb comes down over the blade first, I think. So he's holding it like this, right? So thumb comes out, down. We go, and I'm looking at my own hand here. Around like that. And then we've got like some skin folds and hand lines and stuff. And maybe like a thumbnail there. You know it's bad when you're like looking at your own hand as a reference. Uh, okay. Yeah, and then like, so like the palm of his hand just comes down here. These are like skin lines. Okay, and then, so fingers will be sort of underneath the thumb. One, two, three, you could see, you should see all four. Maybe just three. So like one under the thumb. There. Going back that 
differently. Way. Suddenly, pinky. Okay, then not bad, not bad. And then look, I'm just talking to myself, going, "Go oh, you!" And then his, the handle of his sword there. And what can we see on? Is there any details on that? Oh, I'm gonna do some like just some cross threads maybe right Whew. breathe don't forget to breathe okay so then um, it's like tendril that's weird okay so uh, then his sleeve on the other side here right in the white Part of it kind of disappears back into there, right? And then the brown part of his sleeve there. And then this goes in to his kimono. You can see that like there. So his kimono then the, the sleeve for that that his arm comes out of goes down like so. Right, so his other hand is like going to hold the sword there. And then the top of his kimono goes around like so. And down, it's another big bellowing. The wind is catching his clothing, you know, like that. Oh, and we can see some of his earring on this side going this way. Whew. Okay, top of the hilt of his sword just comes out here, travels around and down. You can't actually see the blade because it's just covered in flame, which is kind of cool. But, um, uh, oh, and the, the earring has some details on it as well. stuff okay now what lines are in there at his face that's his sleeve should we say maybe look at why I'm going that way just going around his face maybe with the other lines now it's just like green maybe like some of his collar or something just there Okay, so we'll do, we'll do, we'll try and do these black boxes, right? So coming down from the sleeve here, there's another fold line going across that way, right? So black box, we have to do these, unfortunately, or it won't look like Tanjiro. And this is probably the most tedious part. Like the face I know was difficult because it was so small. But this is like tricky because you got to like follow the flow. You know what I mean? So like another green box here and they're checkered, which means they're like opposite alternates. So another one here. You can see they're, they're curving like this, the lines, right? And you, you've got to do that because you know, the, the, the fabric is curving itself. So Black box there. Edge of a green box or something in there. That's black, black, black. See, so black here, black here. I'll put dots. Black, black. Right, and then another one here. And then again, we gotta curve it that way. And then it'll sort of curve down there. And then the top of this green. Go around. Here towards his nose, like that. and then this one curves down to there. So this one's black, 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 black. Yeah, see the corners that touch the black ones, corners that touch green ones. 
I'm going to make another black one in there. Mm. Right, so I'm just going to cross touches this one. And it'll go down towards his elbow, nearly just there. Let me go back up. So this one's black. That's, so that means this one should be black. This is complicated. This is the green sliver here. And then the black sliver in here. And then here. This goes up to there, I think. This goes in behind the earring. It goes down to there, so that's dark. There's another one here. Oh, we're nearly there. Right. Um, then this goes behind his hair. So we're curving. They're curving this way now. Um, so that goes behind the phone line. Should be another one here coming out from this corner, and then we'll go down that way and then back into here. That's a black one, that's a black one. Another one there. Okay, I think I can speed up now. So this one goes down to there. there, down to there, so it's green, black, 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 there's another one here, down to there, and there, down to there, and to there, Ah, nearly there now. Dark in there. So that one, and then some under the fire here. And so black one there. So it means there should be a black one in the corner here. that way it's down here over to there so we should have another black one there so that means that's wrong there should be another green one in here sorry now so if that's black that means this one's black and that one's black. So that line is just a little bit of a mistake. So black, black. Yeah. Like that. And then this here. <laughs> I know there was a couple of people requesting him doing Hime Kagi Kagura. <laughs> I hope this has helped you. I know it's 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 very tricky. That's why I didn't draw it. I, I drew the clinic close up on his face first. But still, kind of glad I did this. So something here, something else there. Okay, so and then just this thing. So it goes up that way, and then down. So 
extremely difficult, but fun at the same time. There. Good to challenge yourself sometimes, you know. Probably be a long video though. But hey, that might help someone out there in the Twitter, in the YouTube world. Okay. Now, switching Sharpies. Go to something with a little bit more ink. Because we're going to be doing this fire stuff now. Okay. Now, okay. So his, his sword is basically fire, right? So we'll just start adding. More ink, more ink. Nope. Guess again. Yep. Okay. Ooh, let's go. It's just like fire. Actually, another flame that comes across that flame, so that one goes that way, and then this comes down across and up, around, and back up. That way. So these are all. yellow and red and stuff on the inside right and there's like bits of fire like lava sort of coming off floating around sort of like circular stuff So that's this. so it's all like yellow and red and stuff inside here, and there is like some more sort of fire. Here. And it starts to kind of spiral then into these big patterns coming around his body. Okay. Drawing the yellow on some of the big ones. But this is kind of the easy part, I guess, compared to all of this. Right, so and there's some that go on his body here now. So big sort of flaming it covers some of his knee, a good bit of his knee. Raise any lines that you shouldn't see them inside. So up to his sleeve and then down. I'll just erase some lines inside here. Right, so that's the idea. So when you draw over something, you just erase. I won't do it for all of them because it's quicker for me to just do it afterwards digitally so you know just I'm just adding you should use pencil anyway for this so you can erase them and we got some yellow just in there right so then let's try and add these spiraling ones right so we got like one coming out here so this will kind of go Cross the bottom of this. So we'll go this way. Cuts that off, right? So you'll, you'll erase that or color over it. And then this spirals around, okay? So 
I'm going to round them now. So the bottom of it will come this way. Like a big wheel. So that's this and then go up. And go up around his head. So we'll go around really far around his body now. And then go somewhere off the page, maybe up there. And then again, you can have some globs of like lava and stuff come across his body every now and then. That, right? And then we'll go back over here. So we'll bring her ba -ba -ba. back in. floating in its own there like that. Okay. Now it's so spiraling. And then we have another one that starts over here and spirals down this way. Right, so we'll go down like so. So we're just going around basically. Some spikes every now and then. Right underneath his foot. We'll go just past this one. Some of these lines are quite thick as well. It is optional, of course, to do that. It varies in thickness. Right, okay, so then, so that's all flame. Where's the inside of this? bring it down sort of here maybe so that's if you have more room of course bring it around and then it'll come back in let's say here so this is the right width i'd say right and then we have another one it goes off that way and it comes down around here okay so this is all fire this is sort of the spiky end Sort of spikes and stuff. So it's there, and then there's like another start of another wheel or. Something there. All right, so and then like so this is all fire and colored yellow and red all on the inside, and you can add as much extra 
flame as you want. So like around here, maybe we'll just add just a little bit more, just there, just in the corner, filling up the space as much as we can. And all yellow and red and white and orange and stuff all colored all inside there. So that's not bad. I'm going to add maybe a shadow just down here, just underneath this jaw. But I think I'll leave it there. That's how to draw Tanjiro. Burning bones, that is, yeah. Summer, moon, or summer sun. Burning bones, summer sun. Okay, that's it. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.